Yes. How y'all feeling? Thank you, DJ. We up in this motherfucker tonight. Yes. How my sister's doing in the house? How the ladies doing tonight? Now, see, I give my ladies, I give y'all much love. Because, see, when I came out, I seen some of my sisters. They was partying with me. They was having a good time. Now, I noticed the men, they really wasn't impressed with the little dance and shit I was doing. They weren't really impressed. You know why? Because the video bitches got it all fucked up now. Men, they ain't happy unless you dropping it like it's hot, unless you backing that ass up. Now, I'm going to put the music back on, and I'm going to do a little dance to get the men excited. Watch what I tell you. DJ, do what I say. That's some bullshit. This is fucked up. This is some bullshit. And it's, it's sad that we have come to this. It's sad that we have come to this. But ladies, you know we all got our own little freaky moves and shit. We try this shit, whether it's in front of a whole lot of people or, by, or if we buy our motherfucking selves. But I want you to remember one fucking move. If you ever want to look like the stripper bitch in the video, you got to remember this one move because this is the official stripper bitch video move. When you backing that ass up, right when you drop it like it's hot, you got to turn back around and look at that motherfucker. DJ, hit it. That's right! That's how you do the shit the right way. Look at niggas, that's a bad motherfucker right there. She got that shit down like a motherfucker. These bitches make their asses clap like that. You know, just when you think you got all the Victoria's Secret shit you need, here they come making their asses clap. This is some bullshit. Boy, y'all better hope that I never wake up one morning and my ass is clapping. Because I'm going to be in every motherfucking video you see. They gonna, my, my ass gonna be so big, I'm gonna walk in the video ass first. They gonna say, here she come, here she come. i tell you, I praise for a big old ass. I want me a big ass. I want me an ass so big that when I'm walking through the club, a man could just take his drink and lay it up on my ass and I don't even know it's there. I'm just moving on through the club and shit. Knocking drinks off the tables and shit. Moving tablecloths over and shit. Want me a big old ignorant ass. Kind of ass you just look at and frown up. You'll be like, damn. I want an ass so big that if I'm on top, he roll me over, I'm still on top. You know, got a wrap around ass. And look at the white women. The white women looking at me like, well, why would you want a bigger ass? See, because, see, they don't understand that black men love big asses. They do. Black men love women with big asses. They do. Black men will give you fucked up advice on how to get a bigger ass. They will. Ask a black man, ask a white man first. Say, well, what should you do to get a bigger ass? White man will tell you, well, you need to do you some lunges, do you some squats? Get on the Stairmaster for about 20 minutes a day. But you ask a black man's advice on how to get a bigger ass, a black man gonna tell you one thing, oh, I got something for that ass. I got something gonna swell that ass right on up. You know they think they dicks can cure anything. I got some for them bumps. Got some gonna take them bumps right on up. Oh, 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 for real. I'm, but you know what, though? I'm convinced that one day 
they gonna come out with a medicine to just make your ass swell up and clap like a motherfucker. I'm serious, because science is a motherfucker nowadays. They, you, do you realize that science and medicine have gotten together and created some beautiful, beautiful shit? Do you realize that they spend so much money on bullshit like Viagra and breast implants and they ignore important shit like Alzheimer's disease? Do you realize by the time we all get old, they do! Do you realize by the time we all get old, we gonna be walking around with big old dicks and big old titties and don't remember what to do with them? I know one motherfucker took some bootleg Viagra, everything swole up except his dick. <laughs> you know, cause you gotta be careful. Cause all that shit has a side effect. Remember that. And they always try to ease the side effects past you real quick. You'll see in the commercials, they'll come on the commercial talking about this sinus medicine. They'll make you think this medicine is a bad motherfucker. But right before the commercial goes off, here come the motherfucking side effects. Warning, this medicine is subject to give you headaches, insomnia, and diarrhea. Now you got to decide whether you want to deal with a runny nose or a runny ass. Which one you going to deal with? But I kind of like that shit. I wish everything came with a motherfucking side effect warning label on it. Especially men. That's right. Let us know what the fuck your ass is all about right from the beginning. Imagine that shit. You in a club, you chilling. You looking good, he looking good. You checking him out, he checking you out. Right before he walk past you, you see his motherfucking side effects. Warning, this brother is subject to run up your credit, fuck about two or three of your girlfriends, and has a tendency to whoop a bitch ass every now and then. What you gonna do? You know I go ahead and fuck with the motherfucker if the dick is good, you know what I'm saying? Cause a nigga might change, nigga might change, nigga might change. Uh, I'm for real! Fuck that, I'm a drama motherfucker. I like niggas that take me through some bullshit. I do! I like the kind of nigga that spend a night over the house with you, you leave $20 on the nightstand, he steal the motherfucker and help you look for it in the morning and shit. I don't know, it was right here. Wasn't nobody here but me and you. Shit, I don't know what happened to the twins. I do, I like that type of shit. I'm a drama motherfucker. I am, I'm a drama mama. I love, I love drama, excitement, especially fights. Oh, that's just my shit. I love to see a motherfucker fight. I don't even break up fights at all. I be encouraging and instigating the motherfuckers. People be arguing this shit. I be the one in the background hollering out, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Trying to get the shit started. And it's easy to make women fight. All you gotta do is see two women arguing, wait like two seconds after they finish arguing, walk over to one of them and say some shit like this. That bitch could have never said that shit to me. They gonna fight! Yes, that's my shit. But I had a dream one time that I was standing in line at the gates of heaven and got into a motherfucking fight. Now they was fucking with me! Let me just explain this shit. I'm standing in line at the gates of heaven trying to get into heaven. Foxy Brown the rapper is standing in front of me. And Monica Lewinsky is standing in back of me. So Foxy Brown got up to the gate and I seen her pleading the case and shit. She was like, my name is Foxy Brown. I'm a rapper. I'm trying to get into the gates of heaven. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person. So St. Peter said, Foxy Brown, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? She said, my hands. He said, go over there and rinse your hands out in the fountain and you may enter the gates of heaven. Next, it was my turn. I got up to the gate, I said, how you doing, St. Peter? My name is Samore. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person. He said, Samore, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? Before I can say any fucking thing, 
Monica Lewinsky pushed me out the way. She said, excuse me, but can I rinse my mouth out in the faucet before this bitch put her ass in the water? I said, bitch, you don't know me like that. Fuck that. I'm for real. I try to keep it real with motherfuckers. Fuck that. I do. That's why all my friends, my friends, they love me. They call me all the time for advice and shit. Like Mary J. Blige. Called me back, no, back in November. Called me up on the phone. She said, Samoa, you know, I'm going to do a press release. I'm going to stop doing rap music. I'm going to go back to school and get my GED. I said, bitch, you done remade everybody's motherfucking songs. Why not just copy a motherfucker's diploma? Some other shit that I keep it real with. Some shit that I came to the realization of. Ever since I turned 30 years old, I decided that I ain't fucking with no more men over 35. I'm not, fuck it, I'm not. I'm sick of fucking niggas named Charlie and Rufus and Greg and M. I wanna fuck some Hakeems, some Deshaun's, some Twycons and some rations. I'm serious, because you take a big risk. You take a big risk fucking them older men. You ever see a motherfucker in some dress socks trying to get the pussy? He's slipping and sliding and shit. He fuck around and bust you in the lip. On a motherfucker with some Timberlands on, feet planted in the ground, and he wearing that ass out. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, for real? I mean, now don't get mad. See, I see the men over 35 getting mad. Don't get mad. Cause let me explain some shit to you. See, it's easy. It's easy when you fuck with the younger men. Let me tell you something. Bring them over to the house, right? Pull out your George Foreman grill. Put a little chicken breast on the grill. He gonna be all impressed with the lines on the chicken and shit. He gonna say, ooh, that's just like the restaurant. But you get you one of them men over 35, you got to make collard greens, potato salad, candy yams. You gotta fuck around and make a whole peach cobbler from scratch to impress his ass. Some bullshit. Then they be all judgmental and shit. Talking about why your rice sticking like that. Fuck that. Give me a young, I'm telling you with a young man, all you gotta do is get that motherfucker a Heineken, a Sega, and a Blunt. He gonna be like this, voila, voila. Now you might have to hide all your shit when you go to sleep. Wake up in all your, bl your beds, be on blocks and shit. But fuck that, the dick is important to me. Cause I think when you work real hard for your own money and you realize a motherfucker ain't gonna give you nothing, you realize this, fuck your bling bling nigga, can you sling sling? That's what I'm saying. Oh, and y'all don't know dick like I know dick. Dick is a beautiful thing. Do you realize that if a man is fucking you right, that you could spot his ass at the Million Man March? I'm telling you, that's the motherfucker right here. That's that mother. Come here, let's look at this motherfucker over here. Telling you, dick is a beautiful thing. Oh, and y'all don't know good dick like I know good dick. You know how you can tell you got a man with some good dick when you let him drive your car. And you know he ain't got no license. You be 
like, go on, boo, fuck what the law say, nigga, you can drive, nigga. You know how you can tell if he got some good dick when you got a crush on him, but he got a restraining order on you. Oh, dick is a beautiful thing. And women, y'all getting the shit twisted now. What the fuck is all up with the tongue rings and shit? They claiming, oh, it makes dick sucking real good. That's bullshit. It ain't but two things that make a dick sucking better. That's extra spit and money. Fuck that. You working on the infection. That's what the fuck you working on. Dick is a beautiful thing. But don't fuck around and get digmatized. Oh, that's when the dick is so good that you can't see the reality of shit. A motherfucker that's digmatized be walking around saying shit like this. No, 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 no. He don't be hitting me. I be walking into the punches and shit. That's what I'm saying. I be walking into the punches. Don't be digmatized. And ladies, you got to always remember this. Keep your skills tight. Ladies, we all have skills within us that we have to keep tight. And when you was a little girl about eight years old, your mother gave you one essential toy. And she knew with this toy, as you got better with it, you would get a swivel in your hips and an attitude to match. Ladies, when you was about eight years old, your mother put you outside on the front porch and she gave you a motherfucking hula hoop. You didn't quite understand why she insisted that you learn how to do the hula hoop. You got out there with the hula hoop rocking around your waist. And at first it was a little bit difficult for you, but you kept on trying. Then after a while, when you got it rocking to your own certain pattern, it made a certain sound. It says, shk, shk. And when you heard that sound, you knew you was the shit. Then your girlfriend holler, put it round your neck. So I say to all my sisters here tonight in Hartford, Connecticut, the next time that you have to put your thing down on him, the next time that you have to remind him of just who you are, the next time that you have to practice your skills on him, the next time that you up on top and you riding him real good, you riding his dick so good that his toes is curling up, his eyes is rolling up in the back of his head, you riding his dick so good that he can't even close his mouth. I want y'all to do me one favor. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror, wink one eye at yourself, and just say, shh, shh. Y'all, my name is Samora. Y'all been wonderful.